one of our favorite guests of all time. It's become a yearly tradition. He comes to visit us every year. Comedian Josh Wolf. You know him from his stand-up comedy. You might know him from the Chelsea Lately Show on the E Network. We, of course, oh, know him from all of his I, visits I, here to Western New York. Yeah, I wasn't paying attention. And we are so happy to welcome you back. It's a tradition. Uh, thanks for having me. I appreciate it very much. Uh, that picture you had of me, that was... Um... You look a little different. You're, color. You're in color here. Yeah, and that one, <laughs> it's one of the very few. It's uh, seeing me without a hat. It's like a... Find a picture of a unicorn. Is that we'll, your security blanket? You always have a hat. Well, you know what it is. You. It, it actually, uh, if I don't have a hat on, generally people don't know it's who really, I am. It's like a trademark. At yeah, this point yeah. Time. So I'm, I'm, I'm actually, it's when I when I want to go incognito. <laughs> You're talking about hat. Yeah, I go hat off. Yeah, exactly. Kind of reverse. Yeah, it's the reverse. Exactly. It's nice out, guys. Last <laughs> no, time I was here. We're bringing the weather oh, from LA here. Boy, I I've seen people it. in shorts. Which is crazy. Now, if this was the temperature over in LA, would there be people dressed differently? What would be the comparative? Okay, when I, I and I'm from Massachusetts, but when I like, if it gets below 65, I have a sweater on and the heat's on and a blanket, and long heat. underwear. Yeah, I make my dog <laughs> snowshoes just in case. But people here. <laughs> That's the funny thing. When it gets below, above 40, mm -hmm. you got shorts on. Well, there's always that one guy that has shorts on. Everywhere. Everywhere on yeah. the planet, Antarctica, there's one guy who's wearing shorts. I grew up with a guy that when it snowed, Dudley Gore, I always remember him, he would, when he, I, he would, it would be out like snowing and he would be shoveling in his shorts. <laughs> it's not a common sight here. I, I'm reminded <laughs> to a time over this past winter at Holiday Valley skiing when the guy's shoveling off the ski, uh, the ski lift were yeah. wearing shorts. I mean, that is... That's, That's pretty hardcore. manly. You're it's working at a ski resort wearing shorts. Yeah, you know, I, that means you're numb from the waist down, which is not <laughs> a great no thing feeling. to be. Yeah. So this is your third time in Buffalo. Yeah. So what keeps you coming back? Um, well, I love the crowds here. You know what I love? Here's what I love about the crowds here, is that people are blue collar. They're nine to five mm -hmm. people, right? Yeah. So when they come to the club, they come to forget and laugh and drink. And that's what I like. But drink and drink first. Drink first. Laugh and then forget everything I said because you don't want to take that home with you. That's, <laughs> that's not good. You want to take it home. What kind of stuff do you? We've both seen your show. You talk a lot about being a dad in yeah. your comedy. Yeah. Um, and this time is like a basically a whole new hour. You know, the last time I was here, I was touring with my book, I think, mm -hmm. which was all about when I was a single dad. And this is a whole new hour. You know, my life is a little different now. I'm still a dad. But uh, <laughs> whew, uh, in case unless something happens since I've been gone, call me. <laughs> um, and uh, But now it's a little different. My life's a little different. There's a lot of different stories in there. Um, so it's a, it's a different hour. There's some, uh, I've drudged up some embarrassing stories from my past. Um, I, I, I talk about um, an unfortunate bachelor party I threw for a friend of mine that I found an unfortunate person on Craigslist that came and did some unfortunate things. <laughs> well, Rule unfortunate for right him, there. fun for me. Uh, but it was good stuff. So, but, but it's a whole different hour this time, so people should definitely come down and check it out. Now, I do want to talk about uh, you being a dad just uh, real quick because you're sharing a story with uh, us uh, a little bit before the show that I think is perfect for winging it. it. It seems like your son has a very interesting way of being grounded. Well, I went out of town last weekend, um, and so he was grounded, and um, so I... Okay, first, that's the first problem. You need to wait for when you're in town to ground him. Well... Who, who is keeping track Here's the thing. My, I had, there was somebody there supposed to be keeping track, but, you know, he went... Here's what... He, I didn't tell you this part. So I, I uh -oh. wake up the next day, and there's a video on Instagram of his... His Instagram. His account. Instagram. Just jumping up and down at a party, singing to a song. Wearing a lei. Wearing a, a lei and a Hawaiian shirt, hat on backwards. All the traditional things you picture in your mind when you picture your son being he grounded. Grounded, of course. It basically looked like a party from a movie, didn't it? Yeah. Like, like it you did. would be like, there's no way that actually happened. It, so, it, and I called him. I was like, hey, man, how's grounding going? He was like, it's... Thanks, man. You know, I'm just sitting here at the house. I go, yeah. Not doing anything? He was like, no, nah, I'm just sitting at the house. I said, you know, I have Instagram, right? And there was that long, stupid pause of him trying to figure out how to get out of the lie. And he goes, well, I might have stepped out for a little while. I might have stepped out. <laughs> he went to Lil John's son's birthday party and was partying down. So are you, do you know Lil John? Is that a friend? Hey, I mean, the, 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 his son goes to uh, my son's school. Okay. You know what my son did to get out of the house? Uh, he just, he literally sat and waited for the person who was watching him to go to sleep. Just said, oldest trick in the book. Yeah, like, he just kept, <laughs> he, went, he went and checked with him, and he was like, I, he told her, I'm going to sleep early. And she was like, yeah, and he's like, yeah, I'm going to sleep early. <laughs> so she went to sleep early. And he went to little John's son's <laughs> birthday party. In my car. <laughs> oh, <Yeah. laughs> 
But it's funny, I was telling you, you know, when I'm grounded, I typically end up at Little John's Sons. I saw you in the video. I saw you in the video. Right next to You know, you might be a little old for that party. Just so you know. when you're invited to Little John's. What are we talking here? 16? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he was, it was a crazy looking party. The Hawaiian shirt and the lay. I was like, that's only a party that happens in the, like, those parties don't actually happen, right? But they were going crazy. It looked like a fun party, didn't it? So we should find out what birthday party he's going to sneak out to go to since he's grounded for going to this Maybe birthday party. Maybe he could party. do like a party guide on our show or something. <laughs> that is a great idea. He could do it through Skype <laughs> yes. and he could just Skype you guys in because I'm sure he, it's, what is it, it's three hours earlier? Yeah. Now? Maybe he's still at the party right now. You should ground him by making him go to some little kid's <laughs> yeah, awful little kid's birthday party. party. Ground him by making him to go to birthday parties. Do you know I used to entertain at little kids' birthday parties. What did, what, what did you do to Okay, before, before I was, yes. I before, could see you as a clown. But I, this is what this was back when my only means of transportation was a moped. And so they made me show, they were like, well, if you're gonna show up to the birthday party, you have to show up in costume. So I used to have to drive in a clown, full clown costume, and a moped. The worst was I was dressed, I was a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. So I had the heads on the back, and I was dressed in a, in a, in a two, and my moped was broken. The muffler was broken, you know how, but it was broken, so it sounded That's like just a Harley. The worst, isn't it? So it was like, yeah, 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 yeah. People were like, oh, here comes a Harley. And it was me in a Teenage Ninja Mutant Ninja on a moped. And then a, a, a police officer pulled up alongside of me, and he, he rolled down the window, and he was like, you know, I was going to tell you to put your helmet on. And then he looked at me, he goes, but it looks like things are going bad enough for you as it is. <laughs> all right, well, and he kept going. Josh, we have you all show, so we're yes. going to check back with you in a little bit.